Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna reveal the most important secrets for you to improve your manualing. So grab your bike, class is in session. As a coach, one of the most popular topics for me to teach is actually manualing. And I've come to one of my favorite places to practice manualing, which is a parking lot. Manualing takes a long time to master, and I'm talking years. So you need to have patience and you need to practice this all the time. I made this video in mind with thinking about the best tips that my students were able to pick up during their lessons with me over the last 10 years. So these tips are gonna be the ones that I saw the most progress out of my students, and also some of the tips that amazed my coaches so much when they learned how to teach this way. All right, tip number one, don't pull up. This is not a wheel lift. There's actually a different technique that we wanna to use to get into a manual. This will ensure that you have more control and that you can progress faster. I'm gonna give you a static demonstration to show you how to not pull up and how just pushing the bike forward totally works. So what I'm gonna do is hold onto my bike on my grips and I'm only gonna have my fingertips on my grips. My thumbs are gonna be hanging off the bike. The first thing I wanna do is get really low. My arms are wide, see that? When my arms are wide like this, I can get more extension. If I get more extension, that means I'm moving the bike forward farther. This is very much key. If you stand up, you can't move it out as far. When you come down, you can move the bike way further, okay? So when I push forward, there's a couple things I'm looking for. Chin over the handlebars, get nice and low, push the bike forward until your chin is over the saddle, just like this, okay? So when you do this more violently, the bike has nowhere to go when your arms are fully extended. So I don't have to move my body at all, and I'm getting a front wheel lift. You can see that my thumbs are hanging off the grips, so I'm not pulling up. There's no way that I can. Once my arm reached full extension, the wheel will come up. This makes things a lot easier. When you pull up and then lean back to balance, you're doing two tasks, and that makes it a lot harder to learn. This is a very common mistake, and this is why a lot of people progress very slowly with manualing. When you get down into position and then push your bike forward, you don't need to move your legs. You don't need to move your hips. Everything is already in position for you to hold the manual. So let's get low, forget about pulling up, and just push the bike straight out. All right, go for it. Oh, nice one. So the second most important thing that you wanna master when you get into manualing is looping out. You're gonna fall on your butt. You need to go past your balance point. A lot of people have a lot of fear of this. So what you need to do is get very familiar with getting off of the back of the bike and landing on your feet. Once you're able to loop out and land on your feet every try, your confidence is gonna go up so high with manualing. And if your confidence goes up, that means you're gonna be able to practice more and see better results. So once we're able to get properly into the manual and we can loop out with confidence, we have to start learning how to turn in manual. So I suggest actually just manualing in circles to the right and to the left. This is gonna get you familiar with trying to hold a manual while leaning a little bit. You're gonna to need to master this kind of control in order to hold a longer manual. When you loop out while manualing in a circle, it's gonna be a little bit more awkward. This is why I suggest this to be your third step. You're already familiar with looping out, but we're gonna make it a little awkward on you, and this is going to make you so much better at it. So those are some really cool tips on learning how to manual and get yourself started right in the parking lot or the driveway or in the street in front of your house. Once you get to this point, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can add to spice things up. All right, so here's how to make some manuals fun. This one's the hop manual. Hop onto the sidewalk, manual, drop off. All right, when you're practicing your drops off the curb, you could totally land in a manual.
You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for everyone that suggested I make a video about manualing. Leave a comment below and let me know what you're working on. I love getting ideas of stuff that I can collaborate with you guys on and make some sweet video lessons for you. I want to tell you guys about something else I've been doing. I've been updating my Patreon page pretty regularly. I'm using that platform to make uh, articles, to make writings, but it's also a great place to uh, stay informed on what I'm doing with the channel. I put updates down there so you know what I'm working on. There's also some options on there for you to join the Shred Crew for as low as $5 a month. So make sure to check it all out, guys. Make sure to like the page, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, share this video. It's the best way for me to reach more people. We are looking to get 200 subscribers. Right now, as I'm recording this video, I have 170 subscribers, so I just need 30 more subscribers, and I'm gonna pick one of you and send you a sweet box full of Green Tree Survive goodies. So help me share this video, help us get up to 200 subscribers, and let's make this thing happen. Thanks a lot, guys.